The HVAC Shop Talk podcast and YouTube channel is made possible by the following sponsors. Cool Front Technologies. Jackson Systems. The Parker Sporland Zoom Lock. Refrigeration Technologies. Yellow Jacket. And Ampro. Hey guys, this is Zach Ciotta with HVAC Shop Talk, and we're taking a look at the Amp Probe THWD, Relative Humidity and Temperature Meter. Now what you see in front of you is what comes in the box, minus this very nice instruction manual, of which you only need about really four or five pages because everything else is different languages. So this is a pretty simple tool. It's everything you need to get a lot of your information in the field as far as for HVACR. No frills, no bells, no whistles, just what you need, compact and to the point. Let's get a couple measurements real quick. We'll see what size this thing comes out to be. First, let's get our width. At the widest point, we're looking at right around two inches or so. At the longest point, we're looking at about nine and a half inches. The weight of this tool is 6.3 ounces out of the case. So let's turn her on and see what she does. Power button's right here. Hit it, one tap and it's on. Top line there is relative humidity. The bottom line is dry bulb temperature. We have a dew point and wet bulb button. Hit that one time, we go to dew point. Hit it again, it goes to wet bulb. Then back to dry bulb temperature. There's a Celsius and Fahrenheit button. You can switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius and back. Pretty simple stuff. Also there's a hold button that'll freeze your measurements right there. That's both relative humidity and whatever measurement you have on the next line down. Because you can't switch it there as long as you have it on hold. Hit hold again. You can switch them and hold that measurement. But again, it won't let you switch. Which is nice. If you accidentally hit it when you're trying to hold a measurement like a supply air or return air temperature measurement, it won't let you mess that up. Now if we want to get our minimum and maximum temperatures, we need to go into the min-max mode. See the button's flashing right there. We're in min-max mode. You see we're at 78.1 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to cover this up a little bit. See it's going to start skyrocketing both in relative humidity and in dry bulb temperature. We're now up to 80. I'm going to go ahead and let go of it. It says we're at 80, so I'm going to go to the max is 80.4. Minimum was 78.1. And when you're in that mode, it'll hold your measurements. You hold the button down for two seconds, you leave that mode. So as long as you're in min-max mode, you could actually go up and take your return air, supply air, dry bulb temperatures, and you could store them, take them back, and do your calculations if you need to. So it's pretty cool. And that's about all she does. There's no backlighting on this one. That's the one downside to it. It's a little bit larger than some of the other relative humidity and temperature meters, but it's also a little bit more durable than some of those others. Let's compare it to something smaller like the field piece PRH2, which is smaller, but a little bit more flimsy. So you got to choose what you want. You want something a little bit more rugged. You want something that's a little smaller. That's up to each guy out there. I kind of like this thing. I would have to carry two of them because I'd want to have them on there simultaneously. You could do it with one. I just always prefer to have two in place. One thing that I might suggest as an add on for this thing, besides a backlight, which would be nice. That's up to amp probe. But, I mean, guys in the field could put a magnet right here so you could clip it right onto a grill. I think that would be a great idea. Might make the ease of use a little bit better. Of course, if you're doing something on plastic, it ain't going to help you there. But having a magnet is going to help you a lot of times when you're putting it onto a grill. There's some specs here and notes I'm going to discuss with you guys about this meter. Let's not waste a battery. First of all, if it gets out of spec for humidity, meaning you think that humidity measurement is wrong, Sometimes that sensor gets too dry for a prolonged period of time. So what you have to do is you have to put it into an environment that's between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. That's going to be about 68 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And you want it to be a very moisture rich environment. 75% relative humidity or higher. And you can leave it there for 12 hours. That was on the inside of the instruction manual when I read it. Just a little tip there. It's kind of an addendum to the instruction manual. This meter can be used up to 2,000 meters in elevation. And that puts you right around 6,561 feet from sea level, which is good for me. But if you're on top of the Rocky Mountains, this won't be your meter. But the good thing is most of us are not on top of the Rocky Mountains. 
Operating conditions for this meter is from 0 to 40 degrees Celsius, which is from 32 to 104. So you're not going to use that in real low temp applications. You're going to use that for HVAC mostly. The temperature range of the sensor itself is from negative 4 to 140, which coincides with an HVAC application. You might be able to use it for some lower temp stuff, but in general it looks like HVAC. So this would be a good meter to use for calculating superheat, getting your temperature splits. You can do several other calculations. Since it does have humidity, you can figure out your enthalpy. You could do capacity calculations if you want to. So there's several things you can do here. So that is a look at the Amp Probe THWD3 Relative Humidity and Temperature Meter. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is a meter that you would use? Yes or no? What improvements would you make to it? What would you change about it? Do you have this meter? If you do, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Hope you enjoyed this, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Save 8% off your order at True Tech Tools by using the Shop Talk promo code.